how do you define the word sexy? Ooh, how would you define the word sexy? Ooh, how would you define sexy? Um, how would I define sexy? What is sexy? It's hot. It's on fire. <laughs> you really care how a 62-year-old even defines sexiness? <laughs> let's talk about sexy. Ooh, Let, all right. Let's talk about sexy. <laughs> Hello, Warners, and welcome to Women Your Mother Warned You About. I am not uh, Gina Tramarco, and I'm not Rachel Pitts, as you have uh, probably already deduced. I am, in fact, Doug Branson, the producer of this fine podcast that you listen to each week. Thank you, by the way, for listening to this podcast every week and supporting us and following us on LinkedIn and Instagram and Twitter and all of the other places uh, that we are uh, we really appreciate it, and in fact, this show is really fueled uh, by your support, by listening, and by contributing on all of those social sites. So keep it up. Uh, Gina and Rachel have given me the honor of doing the introduction for one of our favorite endeavors here on the Women Your Mother Warned You About podcast, and that is our annual Sexy Show. This is the second time that we're doing this, and essentially we've uh, called together all of the answers to a question that Gina and Rachel ask nearly every guest. And that question is, how do you define sexy? And our guests have given us answers that really run the gamut of what you would expect someone to say uh, when confronted with that question. And so this is going to be really fun to hear all of the different ways people define the word uh, sexy. So I thought what would be fun before we get to hearing from our guest over the past year is to actually look up the definition of sexy in the dictionary. And then I've got another way that sexy has been defined uh, by a celebrity uh, that I think really just by her mere presence has defined sexy uh, for a generation. So first, the Merriam-Webster dictionary definition of sexy is sexually suggestive or stimulating, erotic, generally attractive or interesting, appealing. Okay, that's kind of boring. The the answers that you're going to hear from our guests are way better than that, way uh, more insightful and cool and interesting. So I can't wait for you to hear those. Uh, But I did want to leave you with this really great quote as I was preparing for this introduction that I found uh, from Dolly Parton. And Dolly Parton says, I had nothing growing up, but I always wanted to be sexy, even before I knew what the word was. And I think that's such an interesting quote, that this idea of being sexy is not something, according to Dolly Parton, that is necessarily learned or is necessarily given to you or that you necessarily figure out. I think for a lot of people, the idea of being sexy is different, but ultimately exists within us all. And it's more of a discovery than something that is given to us by other people. So that's an interesting quote. But here's the thing. I know I'm going to speak for Gina and Rachel on this because I know that they would love to hear from you, to hear what your definition of sexy is, what that word means to you. And so you can do that uh, with us on Instagram, at Women Your Mother Warned You About, on Facebook. You can visit our Facebook page, uh, or you can talk to us on LinkedIn as well. We have a LinkedIn page. So just search Women Your Mother Warned You About, or you can always go to our website, womenyourmotherwarnedyouabout.com, and all of the social links are there for you, including uh, old episodes if you want to go back and dig through the archives to get some of this genius. Okay, speaking of genius, we've got to get to Gina, Rachel, and some of the fantastic guests that we've had this year and their definitions of the word sexy. And in case you haven't guessed, this show is about Rachel's boobs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're talking with Dr. White, who was my plastic surgeon, is my plastic surgeon. Hey, Dr. White, one quick uh, little list of signature questions we have. How would you define the word sexy? 
Um, see, I think it's sexy. Okay, I think it's sexy for a woman to take care of her body. And what that means is I feel that people should be in a gym or a home gym or something six days a week. I do it. I get up at 4.30 every morning. I go to the gym, uh, and I've got 12 hours ahead of work for me. And so I don't listen to people's excuses because I always come back with my own experience. But I think sexy is taking care of your body, not smoking, and just having a good attitude. Because if you have a good added a body like Rachel does, you're going to have a good attitude. And that's why she's so up about everything. And it's, it's just really fun to see Amen. that. Thank you. Ash Amberger is our guest on this episode. She's author of the book, The Middle Finger Project, Trash Your Imposter Syndrome and Live the Unfuckwithable Life You Deserve. Let's talk about sexy. Ooh, Let, all right. Let's talk about this. <laughs> how do you define sexy? Truth. I'm really turned on by truth and wit. Oh my God, if you're witty, mm, if you can banter with me, that's sexy. And that's why I love creative writers because it's just a form of uh, intellectual banter on a page. It's great, right? So excited that we finally welcome Jen, now known as Jen. Gittimer to women, your mother. What was she known as before? Jen Glockow. <laughs> Glockow. <laughs> People would always get it wrong, and I'd be like, it rhymes with luck, but it's Gluck. Hey, Jen, before we let you go, we have some signature questions we like to ask our guests. So, oh. number one is how would you describe the word sexy? What is sexy? It's hot. It's on fire. <laughs> on fire. So do tell and more details. On fire. It is something that is within every female, probably every human being. You just have to let it out. Let your sexy out, people. There you go. Don't hold back. Don't hold back the sexy. Rob Berg is really, he, he's fascinating and he's got such great messaging. You guys will love him. Well, Bob, we've got some signature questions we like to ask before we wrap up. And the first one is, how do you define sexy? You really care how a 62-year-old <laughs> even defines sexiness? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, this is the podcast that makes business sexy again. So that's kind of our, that's our theme of okay. like keeping things sexy, but everybody's got a different definition of what they find sexy. I would say, I, I would say a woman who is, uh, who is kind, who is charitable, who has a great sense of humor and who really has confidence in her value, who owns her value. I think is 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 very sexy, um, and a really cute tushy. But you know, I mean, that's <laughs> wonderful. I'm feeling very. I'm feeling very sexy now. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Tushies are important. Kathy Redwine, who's a counselor, and um, and you know her, and you've worked with her, and um, I w work with her in a different capacity, producing her podcast. We've got a couple of signature questions we like to ask all our guests. So first one is, how do you define the word sexy? Mm, confident. Just everything that confident exudes. Confident is being proud, feeling empowered, understanding self, interested in learning, just confident. I find that Love it. so sexy. Totally. Today's episode is on meditation and mindfulness with the most amazing Meryl Arnett. How do you define the word sexy, Meryl? Ooh, well, you know, what comes to mind, honestly, is somebody who really fully embodies themselves in the moment. And so I think if I was thinking about how do I make business sexy again, I think it would be some, you know, for me, it would be being completely in my body and in the moment that I'm doing whatever it is I do. 
Meredith Campbell. She is super adorable when you go check her out on Instagram, which seems to be one of her main platforms. Um, So how do you define the word sexy, Meredith? Confidence. I think um, sexy is how you carry yourself. I see so I mean it's it's how it's how you look at yourself. If you if you feel your best in your PJs and robe and like you know having a cup of coffee, then that is sexy. If you feel your best like curling your lashes and or not or w- whatever you do that you feel your confident best self, I feel like that is sexy. Scott Ferguson, since our show is the show that makes business sexy again, how do you, Fergie, define sexy? Sexy. (sighs) That's a good question. I don't know. Like, like Gina and Rachel? Is that a good definition? Whatever whatever comes to mind. (laughs) (laughs) Whatever comes to mind. No, um, you know what? Sexy would just be fun, you know, um, uninhibited, you know. Um, There's a bonus word. Guilt-free. Um, just, I don't know, uh, non-judgmental. Like a lot of people put judgment on the word sexy. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. It's like it's, it's what people, you know, it's all, we're all primal. We all have that, so. Yes, you and I have talked about that before. Yeah, that's a fun <laughs> conversation. <laughs> Our guest today, Meredith Powell, she just has a wonderful story. We think you are a woman your mother warned you about, <laughs> as Rachel and I are. So what, Meredith, would be your definition of sexy? How would you define sexy? How would I define sexy? It is um, confident, humorous, vulnerable, and strong. Dr. Tanya Weber, because this podcast is about making business sexy again, sexy is our moniker, how do you define sexy? Confidence. Hands down, confidence. Man, that was fast. Weakness is the, the most unattractive quality in anything. Today... Um, super excited. We just interviewed Sarah Paticha, and I had to actually spell that out for myself so I could say it right. Sarah Paticha. Um, super cool. Once again, another cool woman that we could have talked to forever. My favorite question, since this is the podcast that makes everything sexy again, how would you define the word sexy? I think it is embracing everything that you are, your flaws, your, you know, less than perfect body and embracing and loving who you are and what your future can be. I think that's sexy. Love it. Totally sexy. I agree. Jennifer Brown is our guest on this show that we had. Um, She's amazing. And on this episode, I did mention that I want to be her when I grow up. Since this is the podcast that makes everything sexy again, how do you define the word sexy? Ooh, I think it's about power. <laughs> That's a, I, I would hope most women would answer that that way. I, I, I would bet men would not answer that that way. I think for us, power is sexy because we don't have it often. So to have it, to exhibit it, to embody it, um, I feel the most powerful and yes, sexy, although I hate to think about that word when I'm in a room full of clients Um, (laughs) because it's not about that. But internally, I know that when I'm speaking with authority and I'm, I'm coming from this deeply embodied, authentic place, that is the most powerful. And therefore, you know, I think the most sexy I ever am um, is that authenticity. So have you gotten that answer before? No, no. And every answer is different. Holy moly, y'all tighten up, like fasten your seatbelts on this one. And and we mean it with love. Adrian, Ashley is a best-selling author and award-winning filmmaker. Adrian is amazing. Um, But we do get really explicit on this episode. Uh, We got a couple um, signature questions to ask you before we wrap up. How do you define the word sexy? 
Uh, sexy. I define the word sexy as congruent and confident. So if you own your badassery, it will show and the world will be attracted to you. So that's the key piece of being sexy. It is not about what you look like at all. It is not about your size at all. It is not about the color of your hair, the color of your eyes, the clothes you're wearing. That has nothing to do with it. It all radiates from the inside. And I know this because I produced a television show called Plus Life, Unapologetically Fat and Fabulous. Because sometimes there's not a skinny girl dying to get out. And I, going to a bar or a nightclub with Saucy, who's a plus size model, she's a 5X, guarantee you, she can point to any single person in the room and they're hers. Guaranteed. It is all in her confidence and nothing to do with, she's also drop dead gorgeous. But society would say, she's a 5X, I'm a size two. I should, I should be the winner in that. Mm -mm. It is inside confidence and she has got it in spades. So no matter who you are, what you do, what you look like, congruent, own, own who you are and know who you are and be confident about it. And that is the sexiest thing you will ever be. Love it. But it's time, Warners, for us to wrap up the show today. Thanks to everyone who has listened today. To connect with me directly, Gina Tremarco, you can visit our website, womenyourmotherwarnsyouabout.com or ginatremarco.com. And, and for Rachel? To connect with me, you can find me all over the web and social media as The Singing Lender and thesinginglender.com. And you can find all our social media links, including one way to get to Keith Walters at, <laughs> at womenyourmotherwarnsyouabout.com. And hey, if you like the show, you can give it a rating and review, which we would love you to do. But more importantly, share the show, especially this episode on meditation and mindfulness, because you probably need it. You probably don't think you need it, but you probably need it. Or maybe you have a boss who needs it. So share the show with someone else and uh, keep on keeping it sexy. Remember, for the best relationships, keep it real, raw and relevant. And a little irreverence doesn't hurt either. Hi, Warners. This really will get serious soon. Yeah, I don't, think. it doesn't have to. I don't think anybody wants it to be serious. Women Your Mother Warned You About is a Pod About It production. You've got a great idea. Let's pod about it. Visit podaboutit.com for more information. Woof, woof, monkey, monkey.